Well, at first, you would have to have a life support system um, because Mars has a low density atmosphere, only about 1% the density of Earth, and it's primarily CO2. Humanity has always dreamed of reaching Mars, but Elon Musk's vision of a thriving colony on the Red Planet is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Building a city on Mars isn't just about sending rockets, it's about creating self-sustaining ecosystems, using AI to solve problems we haven't even faced yet, and relying on robots to do tasks no human can. With extreme temperatures, radiation, and a lack of resources, the challenges are immense. This isn't just about space travel, it's about revolutionizing how we think about survival and technology in one of the most hostile environments in the universe. Before we talk about the solutions, it's essential to understand why Mars is so challenging. First and foremost, Mars is a cold and hostile planet. The average temperature on Mars is around 60 Dc 80 C 80 Def. But during the winter months, temperatures can plunge as low as 125 Dc 195 Dec. That's cold enough to freeze your breath instantly. Mars also lacks a breathable atmosphere. The air is made mostly of carbon dioxide with only trace amounts of oxygen. So just stepping outside without proper life support would be deadly. On top of that, Mars' atmosphere is only about 1% as thick as Earth's, so it offers no protection from harmful radiation. Cosmic rays and solar radiation are much stronger on Mars, which poses a serious risk to human health over time. Another major challenge is the lack of liquid water. While Mars does have ice at its poles and underground, it's not readily accessible in a form that humans can use. All of these factors make colonizing Mars a monumental challenge one that requires solutions we've never needed to develop on Earth. If we want to make Mars livable, we need to start by using robots to prepare the land before any humans even set foot on the planet. The harsh conditions make it impossible for humans to immediately begin construction, mining, or farming. This is where robotics comes into play. SpaceX's Starship spacecraft will be key to transporting humans to Mars, but it's also designed to carry cargo, robots, and equipment necessary for building the first structures on the planet. Before astronauts arrive, robots will need to be deployed to carry out essential tasks. These robots will help with everything from setting up power systems to constructing habitats to making sure resources are available. One of the most exciting potential uses of robotics on Mars is in situ resource utilization ISRU, which is the process of using local resources to create things like fuel, oxygen, and water. Mars doesn't have a rich supply of resources like Earth does, so creating these from Martian materials is essential to making the colony self-sustaining. One robot might mine the soil to extract water from ice deposits, while another could use the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to produce oxygen and methane, a process that could be crucial for providing breathable air and rocket fuel. Robotic miners are particularly important for digging into the Martian surface to extract the necessary minerals and elements. Mars' surface has a lot of iron oxide, which gives it its reddish color, but there are also trace amounts of water, carbon dioxide, and other gases that will need to be processed. These robots will carry out tasks that are too risky or too difficult for humans to do directly, especially considering the dust storms and extreme temperatures that could occur on Mars. Another example is NASA's Perseverance rover, which landed on Mars in February 2021. Perseverance is collecting soil samples and analyzing the Martian environment for signs of ancient life. Its findings will provide valuable information that will help determine which resources could be useful for future colonists. These robotic missions will essentially map out the potential resources and allow us to plan accordingly. While robots handle the heavy lifting, artificial intelligence will be the brain that coordinates and manages all the systems involved in Mars colonization. AI is going to be the decision maker in a world where humans won't have the luxury of immediate feedback from Earth. It will need to control everything from the colony's life support systems to its power networks. One of the key problems with Mars colonization is the lack of reliable power sources. Mars gets less sunlight than Earth, only about 43% of the sunlight that Earth receives and frequent dust storms can block out the sun for days or even weeks at a time. So solar energy, which would be the most reliable energy source, becomes difficult to rely on in these conditions. AI will play a crucial role in managing these energy resources. It will have to ensure the solar panels are working at maximum efficiency, store energy when the sun is out, and distribute it during darker periods or dust storms. AI will also be vital in monitoring and managing life support systems. Creating a habitable environment on Mars means managing everything air quality, temperature, water supply, and even food production. These systems will need to be tightly controlled to ensure astronauts' survival. With Mars being so far from Earth, any failure of life support systems could be catastrophic, so AI will need to constantly adjust systems, detect potential issues, and make real-time decisions without waiting for instructions from Earth. Autonomous AI systems will also help with the health of the colony. 
For example, medical AI could provide remote diagnostics and guide astronauts in performing complex procedures. The AI would continuously monitor vital signs and detect any signs of illness or injury, even when humans on Mars have no access to immediate help from Earth. One of the most significant components of Musk's plan for Mars colonization is the Starship spacecraft. Starship is a fully reusable spacecraft designed to carry both crew and cargo to Mars. But it's not just a transport vehicle, it's also capable of landing directly on Mars, thanks to its powerful engines and heat shield. This reusability aspect of Starship is critical for making Mars travel affordable. SpaceX is aiming for multiple Starship launches to Mars each year, making space travel to Mars more routine. And once on Mars, Starship will be able to refuel using in-situ resource utilization ISRU technologies, creating methane fuel directly from the Martian atmosphere. This will make Starship capable of making multiple round trips without needing to be resupplied after every journey, making the whole process far more efficient and sustainable. In addition, Starship's size is another key factor. It's designed to carry up to 100 people and tons of cargo. This opens up the possibility of sending a large number of settlers and equipment in one mission, helping to quickly establish a permanent presence on Mars. If successful, Musk envisions a future where thousands of starships are launched each year, carrying more settlers and resources to Mars and expanding the colony exponentially. Despite all the promising technologies, the journey to Mars remains fraught with challenges. The biggest obstacle is, of course, human health. Space travel is not without risks and the effects of prolonged exposure to space radiation are still not fully understood. The journey to Mars takes several months, and astronauts will be exposed to higher radiation levels than on Earth, which could increase the risk of cancer and other health issues. Musk has suggested that we need to become an interplanetary species to ensure the survival of humanity, but that idea still comes with significant health risks. Another huge hurdle is the psychological effects of living on Mars. Isolation, confinement, and the psychological stress of living on a distant, barren planet will test the resilience of the first colonists. These are challenges that we've never had to solve on Earth because we've never been so far from home. Living on Mars could feel like being on another planet entirely in more ways than one. Finally, there's the question of long-term sustainability. While robots and AI will do much of the heavy lifting, Mars doesn't have the rich supply of resources that Earth does. So the colony will need to grow its own food, recycle everything it can, and generate oxygen and water from the Martian environment. We still don't fully understand how to make Mars a place where humans can live and thrive long-term. Building a colony on Mars is no small feat, but thanks to robotics, AI, and the development of SpaceX's Starship, humanity is closer than ever to making this dream a reality. While there are countless challenges ahead, the future of Mars exploration is brighter than ever. With every new innovation, we're one step closer to turning the Red Planet into a place where humans can live, work, and explore. The road ahead will be difficult, but with the power of technology, the vision of Elon Musk, and the determination of the scientific community, humanity's dream of becoming a multi-planetary species could soon come true.